Hey guys, so in the last video we showed you how to check your internal and your external rotation of your shoulder. So notice on this hand how I move really well into internal rotation, but this hand is limited. So we're going to do what's called a pales and rails contraction. I'm going to go as high as I can with this arm here. Now first things first, I'm going to push through my body, which is our pales contraction. I'm pushing through my body for about 15-20 seconds. Now if you think of your contraction slowly rising up. You just don't want to jam it through your body. You want to kind of slowly dial your tension up. I tell people, think of it like a volume dial. You're slowly turning that volume up as you're pushing tension into your body. Now, 15 or 20 seconds here, we want to stop. We don't move our shoulder at all. We now want to work on the rails contraction. We're going to push away from my body. It's been very hard to do this for y'all because this is not a range of motion that you're used to doing, but the idea is as much tension as you can push uh, out without feeling pain. Remember, we keep tension throughout our body if we can. So now that I've done that for about 15 or 20 seconds, I stop. I can take a towel, pull my hand up, or I can just use my strength I just got, or just kind of use the other hand to pull you up here. Now notice I've got a little bit better rotation, uh, internal rotation of the shoulder here. I want to push through the body again, put push off through the body again. You can do these about two to three rounds to kind of work on that rotation. Then you want to do your cars again. Doing the cars again kind of shows you, hey, now I've got new range of motion. I want to work with that range of motion so I don't lose it again. Now for external rotation, reach behind yourself here. And first things first is we want to lift off the body this time for 15 to 20 seconds with as much tension as you can. Try to just move it just from the shoulder joint itself. Try not to let the elbow do too much of the wrist, you know, lifting your hand off. Just try to bring your body out just using the glenohumeral joint here. Now 15 or 20 seconds here, you can uh, use a block, you can use your fist, whatever you want to do to push through the hand here. And if you didn't really lift off the body here, you can just kind of use your head. So I'm pushing tension through the hand here for 15 or 20 seconds. And then you'll notice you have a little bit better external rotation um, range of motion there. So like I said, do your cars after or before and after these, uh, these checks and then do your pails and rails and then do your cars again to kind of reassess, hey, did I get a little bit better mobility? Now that I got a little bit better mobility, which is really cool, I want to keep doing my cars and keep doing these pails and rails so I don't lose that mobility because what you don't use, you will lose. Um, just let us know if it can help you out in any way.